Marshall with a thumbs up here then. Here we go. It's race time for the Swift Sport Rallycross Championship final here at Lydon Hill. Ready to race sign on your screens. And we are green light racing here. And it's a very good start then from Luke up in front there in pole position. And he's under under no real pressure by the looks of things as we go through turn number one. No, already got a nice healthy advantage there. Fantastic driving thus far. It looks like Weatherby has indeed filtered into P2 as well. Ovenden is into the Joker already. So through the Joker for Ovenden. And already seen that happen this week and be work out very, very well for Ovenden. So looking to do that as early as possible here as well. Uh, we just saw David Watt then in the background in P4. Battling with O'Hara. O'Hara with those bright, luminous yellow. Oh, covers on the wells. Big contact. Big hit then. Up in towards the top of Harry Hill. Bits of car flying everywhere. Big lock up. Big contact. Not ideal. And this gives Ovenden a real good opportunity of being at least in P3. That's for sure here. But look at this for a battle for the lead of this race. This is sensational stuff then. As they all indeed do come across the line. And Weatherly is going to come into the pit lane. Uh, the Joker. So he comes through the Joker here. Constantine still leading the way. And uh, Weatherly is going to drop behind the two cars. We've had some contact with each other here. And this is only going to slow him up. This is perfect then for Constantine. He would have really be hoping uh, that these two indeed do go into pits as well, into the Joker as well. As we come up Airy Hill then. You see the, another potential late lunge going to be made here. O'Hara just up ahead. And what under a lot of pressure, a huge amount of pressure here, Weatherly. Again, with these two having that contact, him taking his Joker really early in this race is now actually going to hamper him, which is really unfortunate, massively unfortunate. Through the chicane they go. And he'll be hoping that at least one of them goes through the Joker. They do. So there we go. Clears the track ever so slightly here. But Constantine is in, well, hold on. Constantine's lost out here big time. Weatherly is going to effectively be in the lead of this race here. So not a good, not a good joker lap here at all then for our race leader. Ovenden, you can see there again in net P3 is the car in the lead of this race has not gone through the Joker as of yet. As we head then up the top of Harry Hill, door left wide open then by Weatherly. And now Ovenden should surely be able to catch up here. This is sensational stuff from all of these drivers here then. Side-by-side -side action then down in towards Paddock Bend. And Weatherly is going to take the lead of this race then. Great stuff. Constantine is also going to try and come through. No real room to manoeuvre through that chicane, unfortunately. And there we have it then. So everybody will have taken their joker by now. Uh, but Weatherly has got such a big gap now. So Weatherly is in P1. O'Hara comes through the joker. And it is indeed then Constantine up to second. And Ovenden is in third. As, uh, yeah, it looks like we've got a car at the back there, not having a good time. That is indeed Chafee, not a good time at all. Ovenden's door's wide open here as well. That's uh, definitely not the most aerodynamic way of getting around. But can we see the form then that Constantine had earlier on in this race? It was streaks ahead earlier on, but ultimately the Joker lap has proved to be a big, big problem. Down in towards Paddock Bend we will come. And we're about to start then the second to last lap. It is all about on-track overtakes now. If anybody wants to beat Weatherly, it has to be done on track. So through one we come. Again, not running out as far onto that gravel here, being a little bit more reserved. That's what you need to do. Weatherly just has to keep track position here. And I'm guessing he probably wouldn't have been thinking he was going to be in the lead after the joke the joker portion of this race especially as he got held up by the traffic as well but he's been given a gift it's now all about keeping hold of that gift although it looks like the gap has definitely closed down here so Constantine will be looking for that move we will have Ovenden as well trying to get involved here we've got one lap remaining then of our Swift Sport Rallycross final here at Lydon Hill and Weatherly has got the slenderest of leads Constantine opens up turn number one beautifully well here. Just settles in behind. He is as close as he has been. 
during this race. Is there that opportunity to make a move? He potentially looks for a late lunge there. It's more to get into the mirrors and force a mistake from our race leader here. Ovenden has just dropped off. I don't think he's going to be able to charge towards the front two here. Door still trying to open itself here. It's still ajar as we come up the top of Harry Hill. We've only got a couple of corners to go here. Weatherly runs a little bit wide and it is now Constantine versus Weatherly for the victory here. Who's going to take the checkered flag? Down towards the final couple of corners, we come onto the gravel section here, and Weatherly, if he doesn't get involved in the bumps here, he is going to be golden. He takes the checkered flag. He takes the victory. Constantine in P2. Ovenden will take P3. There's your podium. Congratulations to those drivers. What then is going to take P4? And it will indeed be O'Hara who takes your top five.